All right, so just finished editing the vlog you guys are watching right now. If you guys want to go ahead and skip to the part where I'm just talking about why I kind of started vlogging in the first place, you guys can go ahead and skip to 6.45 in the video. Um, if not, just go ahead and watch the entire vlog. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Let's get to it. It is currently Friday, yes, Friday. Just been downstairs doing some work for the last couple hours, just some reading, some other stuff. This is a little spot that I've been, a little downstairs basement, little office area I kind of made. I made that whiteboard, um, bought a little sheet from Home Depot, cut it up, put some edge things around it, and screwed it into the wall. Um, got this little table, it's not a good one. It'll do though. Shitty chair, I need to get a new one of those. Got a little TV, can watch some film stuff on that. Yeah, got some shelves, got a little mini fridge just put in there. So, be rocking down here. But yeah, I'm about to just get to some more work and uh, catch up with you later. So I was just curious about what I could get on a one minute typing time test. So I did that, and I got sucked into doing a bunch of those to try to beat my previous time. Now I'm doing typing car racing, where you type and it moves your car. Um, so, got a little off track, but it's pretty fun. Ah, God! Oh. Kind of get some work in with what we got down here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do this real quick, then I gotta get to some film, so let's get it. We just filmed another quick video on shooting. I don't know, it's kind of windy, so I don't know how the audio picked up, so I might have to refilm that later. But um, yeah, so I had just two little sessions today. Uh, low key, obviously, trying to do as least amount as I can in person, um, but still trying to maintain everything at the moment so that's that it is now early afternoon so still got the whole day ahead of us it's saturday got to turn these lights on all right so just about to go through i read it for a little bit upstairs but I'm about to just start up this new book Read for about 30, 45 minutes. Uh, do a little editing on my computer. What else do I gotta do? Yeah, all that stuff. Then it's probably head upstairs, just chill up for about 30, 45 minutes, call it night. And then, yeah, tomorrow's Easter, so. Tomorrow we actually kinda got a busy day, so we'll take you guys through that. Um, yeah, I got a Zoom workout. Actually got a couple of Zoom workouts. Got someone coming here to work out. Doing an interview with my boy Manny. Done that. A little Easter morning. Back at it, so. I get this film. I eat breakfast with the family, so. Let's get it. Quick little film session, about an hour 15, so. Back to zero. That at the back. Yeah, you missed. You gotta go five in a row. Five makes in a row. So we just did a little zoom workout. Um, as you guys just saw, working on someone's shot a little bit, tweaking up a couple things. So now I'm about to go outside and got someone come to the house to do some some work. So about to get that in. Uh, now I'm about to do a quick interview with my boy Manny for his YouTube channel. We'll link his channel down below if you guys want to go and watch that video. So make sure you subscribe to him so you guys can see that when we drop it in the next couple days. So. Yo, let's go and get this interview. Um, so yeah, just about to go 30, 
45 minutes reading, probably about 30 minutes editing. Got to edit a video that's going to go up tomorrow on Instagram and Twitter. So, making those two things out, focused, work, no phone, nothing. So, I try to do that as much as I can where I just don't use my phone while I'm trying to work. Um, if you guys want to kind of know about that and why I decided to do that, read the book, Deep Work. Phenomenal book. Read that about a year ago. Probably going to read it again soon because it was so good, but... Um, Phenomenal book about just being able to be more productive with your work, um, spending less time but getting more done essentially. So, about to jump on a Zoom for an AAU team. Got a 30 minute workout with young kids, and then another 30 minute with high school kids. So, should be good. We'll see how many players are on there. It should be fun. So, let's get to it. Hopefully, maybe I can show a little clip of it in here. So, yeah. You're going to be starting that in 15 minutes. Move your feet cross. Move your feet cross. And a couple dribbles. You're going to move your feet off of that position. You guys are going to explode forward. Okay, you guys can come right back. Stay with that same hand. So I'm just a couple dribbles. Move my feet. Explode out. And then pick up the ball. I'm going to shoot. Make sure you guys aren't giving up yet. 10 more seconds, let's go. Good, now we're going another burnout with our right hand and then a burnout with our left. You guys ready? All right, so it is now 9.30. Easter Sunday just finished up my work for the day so I had those live workouts uh, I did some mobility stuff after that and then uh, did editing for a video so we'll have that up for tomorrow um, and the last thing we're gonna be talking about in this video is why I started vlogging so for me like I always have been kind of watching other people on YouTube there's a few people um, during my high school days that I watched and kind of I once like helped me kind of a lot like I learned a lot from them um, I was actually watching them. They were fitness people, but they were also like serial business people as well. Um, so I watched a lot of what they did and I honestly learned a lot and they helped me a lot. Kind of answer some questions, figure some things out, help me figure out my path and what I wanted to do and even realize what was actually possible for me. So for me, like one of the things I was like, ah, oh, that'd be kind of cool to do. And like, I was always like, I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to do it, but I never really got to doing it. Um, couple people always said oh you should really like start a YouTube channel and so I was like you know what like I always have been watching other people on YouTube they help me a lot I feel like if I kind of do vlog style like I'm doing um, I can benefit a lot of people give people entertainment and just spread my message that way I feel like it's a good way to spread my message share what I do further my brand all those kind of good things so it all kind of comes back into one thing I mean I've always wanted to do it but the biggest thing was I waited a while to actually start and it's funny like the thing with vlogging which I've heard from a lot of other vloggers there's a lot of people that are boring normal ass people on YouTube that have huge followings and it's like people just like to watch other people's lives it is what it is I like to do it other people it's just natural human tendency um, so like even if you think your life is boring whatever and you have a message feel free to put it out there feel free to vlog like you're gonna help somebody so you might as well do it um, don't wait I waited a little too long. I wish I started a year ago. So if you guys want to do something, whether it's vlogging, whether it's putting your thing out on Instagram, whatever it may be, just start, right? Start, figure it out. You guys will get better as you guys go and you guys are going to help people in the process. So why not? And it's just great to, like I said, spread my message. Like if I want to get into other things down the road, the more people that are watching what I'm doing, know who I am, the more opportunities that will present themselves to me. Um, so that's another big thing. Like especially if I want to get into speaking. Um, number one, I get a lot better at speaking when I'm actually talking directly to a camera. I watch it. I see what I'm doing wrong. Um, I've been doing that for like six, seven months now with my online training and stuff. So I've gotten a lot better at speaking just because I'm constantly watching myself, listening to myself, talk, seeing where I can improve and stuff like that. So yeah, like if I want to do speaking engagements, business things, um, talks and just stuff like that, like people are going to could find my message through YouTube and be like, he has a great message. He articulates it well. Let's have him come in and do this. And then now I got that. And 
like I said, it just carries on. It's another way to spread my message, put myself out there. So I think it's great. If you guys have a message, do anything, I highly suggest it. So that's kind of just in brief why I started. You know, I want to help other people. I always watch other people. So why not be that person for someone else? Why not be that person for the next high schooler, the next middle schooler who's going up and he's like, I don't know what I want to do with my life. And, you know, maybe I can show them what's possible or give them an idea or just help them a little bit in, on their path. So... I think it's all worth it. It's a good amount of energy, but I think it's well worth it. And, you know, as we grow, hopefully, get those YouTube ads, start getting some ad revenue from YouTube. But that all comes from your guys' support. I mean, either way, I don't really care. If you guys got a message, feel free to put it out there. Don't be afraid to start. Start now. Figure it out as you guys go. So that's the video. Hope you guys liked it. I try to make a little longer one for you guys. Um, again, nothing crazy during quarantine. Still stuck at home. But... Everything's going to pick up a lot once this is all over. I was supposed to be going to North Carolina like this week, but obviously that ain't happening. I was going to be lit, go to Duke, work out with my, one of my boys who's down there, great trainer. Um, but yeah, things always work out for, for the better. So thank you guys for watching. We will see you guys in the next one. Hoping to post two this week. So Monday, this is this video, and then Thursday again. So we'll see. But appreciate you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't, appreciate you guys. We'll see you in the next one.